Excellent. Welcome, everybody. This is a nice yoga class today. We're going to do a little yoga stretching, and we're going to really focus on relaxation today. Um, and at the end, we're going to do a nice little forest walk visualization that uh, will just relax you and make you even stronger. All right. So what I'd like you to do to start with is just sit back, have the hands palms up, and pull the shoulders back and down, kind of lift the chest. And just focus on your breathing. You're, you can close your eyes or relax your eyelids, whatever you want to do. But just really focus on your breath. Inhale for about five seconds down deep in the belly. And then exhale for about five seconds. Breathing can really relax you. It's really hard to be tense and breathe nice and slow and long at the same time. So just make your breaths nice and long and slow. And then think of relaxing with each exhale, just letting go of all of your muscles. Just really relaxing and letting go. Letting go of all your thoughts as well. Allowing your mind to drift. Allowing your thoughts just to come and go. And just focusing on your breath. Taking two more deep breaths, and then we'll open up the class. Excellent. Let's go ahead and scoot up here. And we're going to start with shoulder rolls. You're going to take the shoulders forward and then take them up. And then take them back and then down. Forward, up, back, and down. Get the back into it now. Curve the back as you go forward. Inhale, go up and back and down. Inhale. And exhale. Really relaxing. Good, let's try the other direction. Inhale, open up the chest, and exhale. Good, inhale and reach up. Lift the chest, bring the arms up and back if you can. Even kind of look up at the ceiling and just take a couple deep breaths in the belly. Good, and then step out a little bit with this foot, reach up and over. Really reach over this time. Not really like a triangle, we're gonna just reach over. And other side, take the ear to shoulder. Good, and then push out, curving your back. See how much you can curve that back. You might think about tilting the hips forward because that'll curve the lower back a little bit more. Tilt the hips forward, curve the back. Take one more breath. And then we'll go to a cow pose, just putting the hands back. Take a deep breath in the chest.
Good. Back and forth. Now you're going to exhale. And then inhale. Exhale. Go at your own pace. Try to go nice and slow and think about just relaxing. Inhale. Keep going on your own, back and forth. A couple more times. Really relaxing as you do the cat stretch here. Okay, let's go ahead and grab onto the side of the chair. Let's scoot back just a tad minute here for you. And we're gonna grab onto the chair and just let gravity do the work. Just leaning to the side. And other side. Think about really relaxing. Just, just relax. The only thing tightening is your fingertips. And that would be kind of forearms. A little bit of forearms. Let's try it again. Just really grabbing on here is all. And just let yourself be as relaxed as can be. And other side. And then twisting, looking back behind you. Other side. Think of uh, relaxing and stretching more with your relaxation. So you inhale, and then as you exhale, just relax and push yourself Turn yourself around more. Give yourself more stretch. Let's try that with the uh, pigeon pose. So you're going to be here crossing the legs. If you have to, you can cross low. That's fine. And you're going to be try to flatten the leg out a little bit. Good posture. Take the chest forward. And so you're just going to relax here as you exhale and try to go a little further forward into your stretch. And then take a nice breath in and just relax and go a little further forward each time. And other side. So good posture. Find your spot there and then just take it forward, keeping your posture. And just exhale, going forward more. And just keep stretching further with each exhale. One more time. Excellent. All right, well, let's go ahead and stand up and we're going to do some poses. Uh, going behind the chair, pretty much. And uh, we're going to start with uh, just a, we'll call this the anatomical pose. Um, it's a good way to think of it. Or a tree pose. Not a tree pose. I'm trying to think of the name, but I can't remember right now. So let's go ahead and do this. And as we're doing it, I'll remember the name here. We're going to tighten up the legs in the back. We're going to pull the shoulders back, reaching down. Pull the head back. This is mountain pose. That's what I was thinking. 
mountain. So you should feel all the muscles in the back of your body tightened up. All the muscles in the front are relaxed. Good, so let's go to downward dog next. And you were working those back of the muscles, so let's go ahead and stretch them all out now. And so when you do this, I'll show you from the side. You're gonna walk your feet back quite a bit. And I actually kind of try to make a 90 degree with my body, but do what you can. Sometimes it's here, sometimes it's there. But try to push the hips back. You can see that'll stretch you out even more. And just hold there for a couple breaths. Good, and then put your right foot forward, and you're gonna push your like push your hips back. Either foot, that's fine. We're gonna do both feet. Go ahead and push your hips back. Keep your legs straight there in front, and just lean forward there. So you're actually stretching the back of the front leg, but if you push your toes into the ground, the front toes, you get a little stretch in your instep as well, pushing down in those front toes. Kind of a nice stretch in the instep. Take a couple deep breaths. Just think of relaxing. And then go back to downward dog. You can always go deeper if you have more training or have done this more. And then we're going to put the other leg out, push the hips back, lean forward. Again, you can try to push into that, push the front toe into the ground. Get a stretch in the front of the foot too. Take one more breath. And relax. Good, let's do a little work on the hips here. We're gonna go side to side, open up the arms. So this is gonna be like a dynamic balance because we're not gonna stay steady. We're just gonna move, but move slowly. So like a star pose, but you're gonna move in and out of it. So you can even lean to the side a little, tap challenge yourself, and then come back to center. Nice and slow. So inhale as you go up with the leg, and then exhale on the way down. One more each side. Good, and then rotate your hips around. Try to get all in all directions as far as you can go. Feel the muscles. Other direction. Nice and slow. Okay, next we're going to do chair pose. I'm just going to move to the side. You're going to sit back. This is basically a squat. Um, we can sit back a little more and reach up with the hands, if you like, and have the hands palms facing each other. And just hold and do what you can for about two more breaths. and relax. Then we come up to the balls of the feet, holding here, taking just about three or more breaths.
Go up a little further for one more breath. And relax. Those are calf muscles that we're just working. Let's stretch those out by putting one leg back. This leg is forward with the knee bent. And then we come to heart center, bow and arrow stance. Try to lean into it more, bend the front leg. Take one more breath. Excellent. Then we're just going to switch sides. Try to push into the heel. You can always push the leg back further too. Bend the front leg. Come to heart center. Let's just do more of a dynamic stretch for raising the leg up. So that's stretching the back of the leg and the glutes and uh, the upper back here, lower, lower back there. That's it. Good. Now we're going to balance on one foot. Face you here. Keep balancing there. Good. Try balancing on the other foot. You can have the hand close to the chair if you need to. And relax. Just take your hips side to side. We're going to do some warrior poses next. So we'll get ready for that. Right, so let's step out with this foot here. You can always have the chair close by to grab onto. So technically you have a 45 degree angle here with your foot. It could be more sideways or more forward, whatever you need to do. But this one will be facing straight ahead. And we're going to reach up with both hands, looking straight ahead, reaching up and back, breathing deep in the belly. Warrior one. Think about relaxing more and stretching even more as you exhale. Good. Now you keep your feet where they're at. We're just going to go to warrior two. Arms open, parallel to the floor. Look past your fingertips here. Pull the head back. And just take a couple deep breaths. Just make sure your shoulders are relaxed. You might think of just relaxing the shoulders each time you exhale. That'll help. And relax. Good. Just kind of shake the shoulders out a little bit. We'll move on to warrior three. In the right in order today. Warrior three is a balancing one. You're going to face uh, this direction just like you were. And you're going to put one leg back. It's the inside leg if you're right next to a chair there. This is my right leg. Pretty sure it'd be yours. Go ahead and reach out with both hands. You could also have a wall close by too. You see, holding there. 
But ideally you want to keep your body straight, reach up and then lean forward as much as you can. Once again, you can do this with one hand. Moving on if you need to, or the wall there. Take one more breath. And relax. Excellent. Let's just rotate that ankle. Rotate that ankle around that you're just for standing on. You can balance here too if you want. Other direction. But really try to get that ankle rotated well. Okay, let's go ahead and try the other side of those. So we're gonna step out with the other foot. Remember you got this foot kind of at an angle. That one's straight ahead. Lean into it. You get a good hip flexor stretch here. That's part of the deal. Stretching right in the front. Reach up and then kind of up and back. You can kind of look up at the ceiling with your eyes, but don't take your head back too far. Take two more breaths. Good, and then we'll go to warrior two. Same stance, just changing the arms, and you're gazing straight ahead. And think of relaxing those shoulders with the exhale. And relax. Good. Check those shoulders out a little bit. Kind of let it go. Get ready for the other side of the warrior three. The inside leg goes back. Reach out with both hands. It could just be it could just be right like this too. But then you start leaning forward to wherever you can. We're gonna hold for about two or three more breaths. For about 30 seconds, you inhale for five seconds, exhale for five seconds. Three times. And relax. Excellent. Good. Let's go ahead and rotate that ankle really nicely as well. Other direction. Good, and then we'll just go side to side. Okay, so we're going to do one more. We're going to do the tree pose, just so we know the difference between that and the mountain pose. So the tree pose is going to be toes turned out or feet turned, leg turned out. And we come here, heart center. Try not to lean into the hip. Get good posture. And just hold there for 30 seconds. You can hold on with one hand if you need to. And keep this foot close to the ground as well. One more nice breath. Good. 
and relax. Good, let's try the other side. Take a nice deep breath in this time and come to tree pose. One more breath. And relax. This time we're going to rotate the knees and actually kind of rotate your ankles. So we're not really rotating the knees. But move the knees around and that will rotate your ankles. The other direction. Excellent. Let's go ahead and have a seat and finish up from, the, from there. I think we'll start out with a good uh, leg stretch here. So put your right leg out, I believe it is. Either leg is fine. Deep breath in and exhale. And you want to keep your toes pulled back, chest up. I kind of just put my hands here so that I can have kind of a bit of a brace. And just take it forward. And think of relaxing and stretching further as you exhale. Good, and then point and flex your foot. And then other leg out, deep breath in. Pull those toes back, good posture, and just take it forward. Exhaling, going further forward each time. One more breath. Excellent. Back to center here. Let's go ahead and split the legs nice and wide and just lean forward, just like so. Inner thigh stretch. And then go to one side. And other side. Okay, back to center. You're going to take a deep breath in. Put your right leg over the top and your right arm over the top. Just have the same arm and leg on top. You're going to do seated eagle. Get nice and hugged up there. Give yourself a little curve in the back and stretch that way. Take a deep breath. And then this hand is up. The other one comes underneath, it wraps around. Now, if you're super flexible, you can go behind the other leg, but I really caution you on that. Uh, it's not always the best for a hip. Um, but if you are exceptionally flexible, you could also twist around the ankle with the other foot. This is seated eagle. You're going to lift the elbows up. Good posture. And just take a couple deep breaths. And relax. Good. Let's go ahead and just try the other side. First, we're going to open up and stretch this way. 
pull the fingers down. Just take a couple deep breaths there first. Stretching the chest. And then other arm is on top, other leg is on top. And get right into seated eagle on the other side, whatever's best for you. And just take a couple deep breaths and relax. And relax there, good. All right, got one more stretch here and then we'll um, finish up with some final stuff at the end here. So we're, we're gonna do some full body relaxation and some guided visualization. Put one leg back, reach up and over. All right, let's go to the other side. And relax, back to center. All right, so let's go ahead and focus, get nice and comfortable. And feel free to get a drink of water if you want. I'll grab a drink here myself. And uh, we're going to uh, start with a full body relaxation exercise. It's called progressive relaxation. And what we'll do is we'll start with the head and we'll go straight down to the feet. Go ahead and get nice and comfortable. Again, you can be palms up if you want. And I want you to just tense up all the muscles in your forehead. However you can do it. Tense it all up. Take a deep breath in. And just relax. Good. Now tense up the muscles in your face. Just whatever you can scrunch it up. Sour face, mean face. Just really tighten up all the muscles in the face. Take a deep breath in and relax. Good, let's work on the neck, tensing up the neck muscles. So part of what this helps you do is just realize uh, the difference between tension and relaxation or teach the body that as well. So tense up the neck, take a deep breath in and relax. Good. Make sure all those parts are nice and relaxed still. And then we're going to move on to the shoulders. Tense up the shoulder muscles. You might even think of packing the shoulders, whatever it takes. Tense up the shoulder area. Take a deep breath in and relax. Good. Now make a fist and tense up all of your arms. Forearms, upper arms, take a deep breath in and relax. Good. Now make sure all that's relaxed. We're just progressively going down through the body, making it all relaxed. Let's work on the core area now. So tense up the core, the middle section of your body here, tighten it up however you can. Take a deep breath in and relax. Feel that whole upper body relax now. Just take a couple deep breaths and feel the upper body relax. Now let's move on to the hip area. Try to tighten up your hips, just like your shoulders. Tighten up those hips, however you can. 
Take a deep breath in. And relax. Good. Let's work on the legs now. Tightening up the knees and the upper thighs. Take a deep breath in. And relax. Good. Now tightening up the feet all the way up into the calves and lower legs. You can tighten up the feet by curling the toes, whatever it takes. Take a deep breath in. Feel the lower legs tight. And relax. Good. Now feel the whole body relax now. Nice and comfortable. Allow yourself to just kind of drift off, focusing on your breath. Imagine that you're just kind of melting into your chair. So I'd like you to just relax now and, and let your mind go. Nothing to think about, nothing to do, just relax. Imagine that you're just kind of melting, melting into your chair. Visualize yourself now in a beautiful forest. It's a crisp autumn day and the dappling sun reflects upon a gurgling stream that just kind of runs along the edge of the forest. You tread carefully into the forest over the crackling red and golden leaves and broken twigs. Pine cones are scattered across the ground. A squirrel runs up the tree. You watch the speed with which it kind of moves swiftly up and through the branches until you lose sight. It's a very peaceful life here in this forest. You notice clusters of bluebells and soft green moss. And the deeper into the forest you venture, the deeper into relaxation you fall. You're falling deeply into a calm and tranquil feeling. Watch a leaf falling from a tree as it dis distances itself and twirls in the air, dancing away, before fluttering slowly down to rest with the others. You pause for a while and rest against an old oak tree. You can feel the rough bark of the tree against your fingertips. Smell the earthy ground and soft leafy mold Berry rings of toadstools, mushrooms scattered here and there. And even as you're resting here against the rough bark of the tree, you can feel a deep sense of peacefulness in this beautiful place. And this deep sense of peacefulness is growing and developing within you. It's growing stronger and stronger each and every day. Each and every day you're growing stronger and stronger, as strong as an old oak tree. Stronger and stronger each and every day. Because now your body knows how to relax. And relaxing like this brings you closer to nature and the wonderful resources that exist deep within you. 
allow yourself to just relax and just realize how much you can relax and enjoy it. Taking just a couple more deep breaths now and we'll close up. I'm gonna count down from five to zero and at zero you'll be fully awake and ready to go feeling exceptionally stronger for the day five four three two one and zero eyes open wide awake and we're just going to take a couple deep breaths here coming to heart center inhale reach up and exhale Deep breath in and exhale. Namaste. Thank you, everybody.